part two tutorial of the gaze VR gaze button. So what we're gonna need now, like I want every time our player, every time he looks at the this guy over here, I want to show some loading stuff, some kind of loading that makes gives the user a feedback for how long he has to stare the view this button in order to make the equivalent of a click in a normal UI so I'm gonna start with oops not this here not photo boot uh, I'm gonna start with Photoshop So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a simple border uh, for our button and I'm just going to unlock this background here. I'm going to make it black. So, okay, it's black. Now I need a... I want it like to be square. I mean... It's actually, it can be a square or a triangle, it doesn't matter. So after selecting here, I need to go to transform selection. So it is now, uh, as we have 512 pixels, the middle will be on 256 for the width. To the Y and 256 for the X. So I'm not sure if this guy is he has a, a ratio. I, I, I wanted to see if I can I wanted his size in pixels, but I think it's, it's okay the way it is. Maybe we can increase him a little bit like this 120%. Yeah, cool. It's exactly this. What we need so you just delete you press delete and common D and now we have like a background uh, our word is just like a border so I'm gonna save him as a simple border but I need it in PNG so here it goes you can find some of this on the internet feel free to use any kind of image you want for your background Right, now that it is saved, I just need the PNG. We come to Unity. And I'm going to create another folder called Textures. So now I go to the desktop and I got our recently created simple border. Actually, I should have put it in Textures, not in the assets frame. Now you have to go to the texture and change its type to sprite, 2D and UI, just press apply. Right. Now we have our simple border. So what I want is, I have this button and actually I don't think a button will be our best choice here. Oh no, sorry, actually we need to change this for our image, this background for our image. And now we need to change its type as field. And we don't need to preserve the aspect ratio, but it's up to you. And what I wanted to do, I want this to behave like a loading. I want that when our user gaze, this will actually, I'm gonna add a, I don't know a text. And it'll be like look at me. Be a look at me text. Oh he's really big. I'm gonna change some parameters here. If you press uh, control, no sorry, alt. Yeah, if you press alt, you have this option over here to expand. So we're going with the expand. Right. And you just leave the rack transform like stretch zero 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 one zero zero and I want the best fit 
I'm just saying, when you use best fit, uh, as you're using a canvas, uh, I'm going to put the font size to zero so he can use the smallest size because our canvas, he's really small. So, really, really small. So, what I'm going to do is like, I'm, I'll, I'll go to our canvas object. And you can see here the dynamic pixels per unit. You must increase it until you can see your text. So let me see a value that gets okay. Oh, that's, I don't know, 60. 60 sounds good. Looks good. Um, in our button, I'm going to fill this guy again. Yeah, that's not what, we, what I want. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm not preserving the aspect. And I want the text to be centered at the bottom, so I'm gonna center everything, and I'm gonna give him some, I don't know, some offset, some small offset, so he can be like inside the border. That's alright. Now, what I wanted to do is, I want the player when he looks at the this view, I want it to, he'll be actually like this. And when the player looks at the view, he'll start feeling. And when he feels, it will trigger an event, something like a click event. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start changing the gaze button script. We're going to need, uh, sorry, we're going to need a public method for when the user is looking at our view. So I'm going to call it on gaze enter and I'm going to create another script for when the user is not looking anymore so it will be called on gaze exit. So what we're going to do is like instead of calling the caller event but oh, I need to put it like void sorry. So instead of calling these guys I'm going to call those two guys for when the button is gazing at the view. So we do the same thing, we go to the gaze button for the pointer enter. I need to put a function on gaze enter. Actually don't even need to drag them again. They are already here the scripts. So I'm gonna put on gaze exit. Right. Now I want I need a trigger time for like how long will pass until the gaze is triggered. So I think like, I don't want to put it too, too low, like small value, so the user might look at the button without wanting to trigger him, like he might, might just be looking around, so he'll gaze the button, but it doesn't mean he'll want to interact with it. But I don't want him to wait a very long time to be able to perform the click. So I think three seconds uh, I'm gonna call it case trigger time, and it'll be like three seconds. Actually, I'm gonna put the capital G because my public variables I usually put them with capital letters. And I also want uh, I need to know like I need a variable to track if the button should be loading and if he shouldn't be loading. So I'm gonna call it is loading and it will default to false. Alright, so I need also a counter which will uh, count like how many time the user is looking to the view. So what I'm gonna do is like when the user looks at the button, I'll set is loading to true, and when he looks away, I'll set is loading to false. So when the user uh, is not gazing, when he exits gazing to our image, uh, we have this property of the image called fill amount. Is like a percentage of how much, if you see this here, fill amount, it goes from 0 to 1. 0 is like nothing, the, Im the image is clear, it doesn't show anything. If you put like half, you fill half of the space of the image. And if you put 1, you fill the whole image. 
So when the user looks away, I want the fill amount to be equals to zero. So, and I actually, um, I want that if now in the update function, if it is loading, like if the user started looking at the view, what I want to do is like, I want the fill amount, the button image dot fill amount to be equals, uh, to be actually, it will increase uh, as how many time has passed since the beginning of the frame. So if this function, I get like the time in seconds that passed since the frame began. But I want it to take like, if I divide it by the time I want it to trigger, I'll have like, it'll take like, if, if this the case trigger is free and I'll divide the time by three, it means like I'll have to wait three seconds because uh, three divided by three equals one. So if I divide the time that has passed, by the time I want it to load, it means that it will, f the, it, it will take three seconds to load entirely. And we have another function that it is the, the counter. Actually, we need also to, sorry, first thing we need to do is to increment our counter by the time that has passed and here we can use our counter so if the counter is bigger than the gaze trigger time it means that we have our click event thing like I'm gonna create sorry I forgot to mention we need to create a, a unity event for when the player is looking at it for more than, than three seconds. So I'm gonna add the Unity event namespace. So here we go, Unity event on gaze click. So what we're gonna do is like, if the user look at the gazer, we'll set this variable to true. So we will increment the time of, the, of how long the user is looking at it. And if you look to, to it for more than three seconds, we're going to invoke this event on gaze click. Oops, sorry, it is invoke. And, and we actually, when the user exits, we need to put the counter equals zero because we need to start from zero to count again how long to, how long he's been gazing the view. So for now, we can check. We, I'm not gonna put this event right now. I'm just gonna leave it this way so we can see what happens now when I look at the button. So here we go. Alright, so see, actually it's taking more than 3 seconds, 1, 2, yeah it's taking, like actually less than 3 seconds, I don't know why, it should be taking 3 seconds, that's weird, uh, really weird, oh sorry, here it's not plus equals, it's just equals because we are incrementing the counter. I forgot this. It, it will work with the plus equals if we were using the time dot the other time. Sorry, because we will be incrementing, but we are already incrementing the counter variable. So here, all we need to do is to use it, is the counter, and that's okay. Now I think it will take three seconds. So, uh, here we go. 
Yeah, there it is, three seconds. See? And now I'm gonna create like another script. Uh, it's a really, just to show you guys uh, how to work with it. If you have like, uh, let's call it really another script. And if you want to call, the, the good thing about events in Unity is because you can call other script functions. So I'm just going to create a simple method called public void another function. It will just log something, debug.log another function, just so we can see that we can have like other objects in our scene. If I came here and I create a simple cube, and I'm just gonna put the cube away and then I'm just gonna add a simple script on it another script, sorry now he has the another script, so what I'm gonna do is like I have the button in my menu so I want to call when the user clicks the gaze the button actually he will call this method in this cube which is uh, on another script, and you can see he's just gonna make a simple log. So another function, we can check through the console. So I'm gonna clear this again. Oops, sorry. Here we go. One, two, three, and you guys can see that he started calling another function. Oh, actually, now he's calling continuously. Because uh, the way it's working is like, if he, my logic is not correct, if it has passed the counter, he'll trigger this function. So he'll keep triggering, triggering, triggering. So what I should do is like set the, actually I'm going to call the on gaze exit. No, sorry, it's not the ideal thing. I'm just going to call... Uh, is loading equals false so he'll stop triggering this function I want him to trigger this function only once so that's why I'm setting is loading to false here so what you can see now is when I look to the to him again I'll clear this um, one two three see he calls the function only once so that's it guys, I, I wanted to show you like the simplest way to interact using user interface and the gaze with the Google Virtual Reality SDK, hope you guys have enjoyed and feel free to comment, to give any feedback um, and if, you, if there's something you want to learn, please leave the comment and I'll try to make a tutorial teaching it, so thanks for watching guys, see ya!